एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट अ टेबल विथ ए स्मूथ होरिजेंटल सर्फेस इज फिक्स इन अ केबिन दैट प्रोटेक्ट्स विथ ए यूनिफॉर्म एंग्लो वेलॉसिटी ओमेगा इन अ सर्कुलर पाथ ऑफ रेडियस आर अ स्मूथ ग्रूव ऑफ लेंथ एल इज मेड ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द टेबल द ग्रूव मेक्स एन एंगल थीटा विद द रेडियस ऑफ द सर्किल इन विच द केबिन रोटेट्स अ स्मॉल पार्टिकल इज केप्ट इन द ग्रूव एंड इज रिलीज टू मूव फाइंड द टाइम टेकन बाई द पार्टिकल टू ट्रेवल फ्रॉम वन इन टू द अदर इंड Let us look at this animation to understand the situation properly. Now, let us look at the groove closely to see how the particle moves in the groove. In the frame attached with the table, a centrifugal force m omega square r acts on the particle in radially outward direction. If we resolve the centrifugal force in two components along the groove and perpendicular to it, The component of centrifugal force along the groove is m omega square r cos theta. This component of the centrifugal force is responsible for the motion of the particle in the groove. If the mass of the particle is m and its acceleration along the groove is a, then m a must be equal to m omega square r cos theta, which implies a is equal to omega square r cos theta. Since in the frame of the table the initial speed of the particle is zero and it travels distance l. Half a t square must be equal to l, which implies t is equal to root under 2 l by a. Putting the value of a, it becomes root under 2 l by omega square r cos theta. This is our answer. To request solution to any question from H C Verma book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.